in this video I want to talk over how uh, explain how to add and subtract algebraic expressions okay so before going to algebra so let's start with numbers okay so if you have uh, a multiplication like this say 24 times 8 plus 6 times 8 so yeah if you look at this and if you say this in words what this means is this is 24 groups of 8 plus 6 groups of 8 or this is 24 lots of 8 plus 6 lots of 8 well if this is 24 lots of 8 and then you are adding 6 lots of 8 that is same as 30 lots of 8 and well I know 3 times 8 is 24 and then you put a 0 and that's your answer okay so let me show this on a calculator so if you go 24 uh, this is times 8 plus 24 times 8 is 192 plus you got 6 times 8 equal oh I did something wrong yeah okay so let me cancel this 24 let's do it again 24 times 8 is 192 okay so let me cancel that and 6 times 8 is 48 so if you want to do this in the long way or so 24 times 8 is 192 plus 48 okay and that is 240 okay so this is we are going to do this in, in a smarter way okay let's do the second question so, so okay so if it is 94 times 12 plus 6 times 12 now those who can see the pattern or see how to do it you can do it so well this is 94 lots of 12 plus 6 lots of 12 so well 94 plus 6 is 100 so that is same as 100 times 12 which is 1200 let me bring a better calculator up so uh, so let me do it like this 94 times 12 plus uh, 6 times 12 equal 1200 okay so let's do one more so what happens if you are taking away if it is 105 times 16 take away 5 times 16 again you can see a pattern here you got 105 lots of 50 16 take away 5 lots of 16 okay that would give you 100 lots of 16 that would give you 100 lots of 16 100 times 16 which is 1600 and this is where this knowledge would help you when you're doing algebra algebraic expression so let's do it again so 105 times 16 take away 5 times 16 is 1600 okay so let's use this knowledge in simply for adding and subtracting algebraic expression so if you have an expression like this, say 3,6x plus 3y plus 2x plus 4y, 2x plus 4y. So now here yeah, what you have to do is you have to group the like terms. So let me write, underline the like terms of this. Okay, so this and the 6x and 2x are like terms and 3y plus 3y plus 4y is a like term so i'll do the working here so this is called grouping the like terms so 6x you have to take the sign before the expression so 6x plus 2x is 8 lots of x it's a good habit to write this step because when minus comes it will become tricky so 3y plus 7y so it's 3 lots of y plus 7 lots of y 
is 10 lots of y. So here the answer is 8x plus 10y. Okay, so let's take a next question. Okay, if it is 2a plus 3b plus 5a plus 6b. Those who can do this yourself, I'll first write some questions. You can do it yourself. You can pause this video and try to do this yourself. So this is next question is. Hopefully you've done this. Okay, so let us do this. Yes, separately. Let's let me take a white color. So, if this is two a, so this is two lots of a plus five lots of a. It's a good habit to write it. So two lots of a plus five lots of a is seven a, and then you've got three lots of b plus six lots of b is 9 lots of b. So here the answer should be 70 plus 9b. Now when minus comes as I told you it can become tricky. So it's a good habit to write. So this is 3 lots of a take away 10 lots of sorry. So this is 3 lots of a plus 8 lots of a and this is 2 lots of a 2 lots of b take away 10 lots of b. So, so let's do first a. So what is, what is that you got? 3 lots of a plus 8 lots of a. That is easy. Which is 11 lots of a. And now for the b's, you got 2 lots of b take away 10 lots of b. So well, 2 take away 10 is, here 3 plus 8 is 11. And 2 take away 10 is negative 8b. So here the answer, here the answer, I'll write it here, is 11a plus, sorry, 11a take away to 8b. And that's your answer. Okay, let's look at this. So here, it's a tricky question, yeah? So this, these are only like terms. This and this are not like terms. So I'll do the working here. So you got minus 4 lots of b plus 3b. Which is minus 4. This minus 4 plus 3 is negative 1. So you can write negative 1d. Or you can also write only minus d. And this and this you cannot simplify. So here the answer would be 7c take away 1d if you want to write 1d is fine take away 2f okay I'm going to write a few more questions that is something that you can do yourself okay I'm just writing the questions I would like you to do yourself so this is 2d plus 4 plus 7d Okay, then you got 5t squared minus 4t minus 2t squared. I would come back. I would like you to do this yourself. Plus 10t. Okay, then you got 3r plus 5t plus 6r minus 7t. Okay, and one more, 6x squared plus 4x, take away x, take away 2x squared. This is next one more, 4x squared y minus 5y squared plus x squared.
squared y. You can pause this video and try to all this, do these questions, and then I'll come back. Okay, so hopefully you've done the, got the answers. I'm going to write the answers directly, yeah? Hopefully you've done the working. So I look at this, this is 2 lots of d plus 7 lots of d. So this is 9 lots of d, sorry, 9 lots of d plus 4. And you can't add these two because they're unlike terms. So this is 9 lots of d plus 4 would be 9 lots of d plus 4. Okay, so don't, line, don't write 13 d and that's your answer. You can't simplify more than this. Okay, so this is 5 lots of t squared. Take away 2 lots of t squared. That is 3 lots of t squared. Here this is minus 4 lots of t plus 10 lots of t. So minus 4 plus 10 is plus 6. So this is 6t. This is 3 lots of r plus 6 lots of r. That is easy. That's 9 lots of r. Here you got 5 lots of t take away 7 lots of t. You had always look at the sign before the expression, before the term. So this is plus 5t take away 2, 7t is take away 2t. Okay, and this question is 6 lots of r squared take away 2 lots of r squared is 4 lots sorry 4 lots of x squared this is 6 lots of x squared take away 2 lots of x squared and this is 4 lots of t take away 1 lot of t when you don't have a number before the algebraic expression you can put 1 so this is 4 lots of x take away 1 lots of x is plus 3 lots of x and here this is this and this is a like term so this is 1 lot of x squared y. So this is 4 lots of x squared y plus, this is plus, plus 1 lots of x squared y is 5 lots of x squared y. And this doesn't have a like term, so this will remain as it is, minus 5y squared. Okay, 